Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the Beat Buddy um, to uh, my Mini Mac and I'm going to open up GarageBand. I'm going to show you how to get it started in GarageBand where you can trigger the Beat Buddy to trigger other instruments inside of GarageBand. Not just other drums, but you can uh, trigger pianos, synthesizers, or whatever. Um, so you can kind of play around with it. You can also do multi uh, multi midis you can have a drum you can have a piano you can have a synthesizer you can have three or four instruments being played all at the same time all being triggered by the beat buddy uh, i haven't really seen anybody else do this in uh, youtube so i just wanted to make this uh, video for you real quick so you can uh, see how i did it beat buddy fans beat buddy owners should i say all you have to do to enable the midi is you have to hit both these at the same time get down to the main pedal hit the tap button roll down to you see MIDI MIDI settings hit the tap button and then MIDI out hit the tap button and then go down to where it says notes hit the tap button and then by default it's going to be on disable but you have to um, hit the uh, highlight it and then hit the arrow enable and then that you're set to go and then you just have to hit the the drum set and it'll go back to the main pedal and then you're good to go there okay before we get started i just kind of wanted to show you how i have this the the beat buddy hooked up to my um zoom l8 and what i do what i have is i have it coming into these two channels here so these these two channels right here are going to be where i mix in the, the beat buddy sound and then i have the, these these two um, channels here coming from my mini Mac coming in through these channels so you don't really need a uh, any kind of a fancy mixer you just need four four inputs in order to be able to do this uh, what I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do so with these four inputs um, you're gonna get a blend of the beat buddy and the instruments that are coming out of GarageBand so as I'm talking, I'm not going to be able to show you both the faders and uh, what I'm doing on GarageBand. So just know when I say that I'm going to do, when I'm going to uh, just have the Beat Buddy, you'll hear the Beat Buddy. And then when I say I'm going to have uh, GarageBand, just a GarageBand sounds, I'm going to be turning this up. And then when I blend them, I'm just going to ba just basically going to have them both up there. And you'll be able to hear the difference. So okay once you get that done um, and you and you you got MIDI out then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to see if it actually works right so you you are going to um, get it go here to track go to new track and then you're gonna hit software instrument so you click on software instrument and hit create and then it came up with the classic electric electric piano it's definitely not going to be something that you're going to want to hear. So let's just go to a drum kit. Um, let's just go to this thing that says heavy, right? And it changed it to heavy. So now I'm going to turn on the beat buddy. And I've got both the beat buddy and the um, garage band, uh, both of them playing right now. So let me turn it on. Okay, so now you can hear, but I'm going to turn down, turn the beat buddy off here. Now you just hear the heavy, right? And I'm also I'm going to go ahead and hit a little. So you got every, you got complete control, just like if it's just like if it was coming out of your beat buddy. Let me turn that down. Turn the beat buddy back up. So now you can kind of blend them. And it kind of just gives it that that a um, little bit more dynamics, but I think it's too much. Um, it almost sounds like the same. So I'm gonna try to get something that's really different. Um, that kind of sounds uh, really loose on that bass. Let me see if I can get something cool, like some kind of a synthesizer or some strings. Let's try strings. kind of like that with what I'm going to do. So I've already set up another track, um, did the same thing. Basically you can just 
click on here and you can hit track you can hit duplicate track with same settings and then it's the new track is going to play one other thing that I did that you're going to need to do to be able to uh, trigger multiple tracks here is you're going to have to go to track and configure header once you once you click on there this is not going to be on this record enable it's going to be defaulted to not being there and now you can see that it's not there anymore so you, can, you can't really in that mode you can only do um, one track at a time so what you have to do is you have to hit the uh, track configure header and then you have to be able to um, uh, check that box once you check that box you can click on it and now you got multiple and all I did over here was I duplicated the track and just picked different instruments now what I liked about this seismic one let me just um, solo this one let me turn the beat buddy down so you can kind of the seismic one is I really like that let me just turn the beat buddy all the way off so you can kind of just hear that that bass so the seismic is the one that I really liked but what happened was it had these um, these different little shakes and claps and things on it and so when you hit the beat buddy to do the fills like right now so it put all those little um, quirky things some people might like that it, it would be a really cool effect if you do like that but I personally just wanted the uh, the drum kit um, the, the bass drum from this kit so all I did was I isolated the kick and so now I have the kick and um, now I'm going to um, blend the, the beat buddy in here and then I'm going to um, unsolo it so you can hear all those other little things going on here and then you can adjust the volumes on them to something's too predominant and the good thing is that the beat buddy's controlling all of this right and then if you wanted to like I'm a musician so I like to throw in a little guitar no matter what I do and what got me thinking about doing this to begin with is I just like this one little Eminem song. It's called Lose Yourself. It was on the 8 Mile track. Um, and this, uh, I that's why I wanted that heavy, heavy uh, uh, drum for. So. Mm, okay, so those, all those pianos and all that is going to, it's going to be the wrong. So let me just put the beat buddy. So you can do whatever you want to do. It was just an idea and, it, and I, I really wanted that heavy bass. You can probably go to the Beat Buddy um, um, library and you can probably download a really cool sounding bass. Um, but I already have GarageBand and I know I, I knew that I could trigger these instruments. I just needed to figure out how to do it. And that's what I did. So I just want to show you all um, how I did it so that you guys, anybody who has a Mac that has GarageBand, be real easy to kind of, you know, throw in your little, little instruments there and just kind of make a little. And the good thing is that the Beat Buddy, you just hit the little... You like a rapper you could rap right here you know and then when you want to change it up and go from a verse to a course you just and then if you or you know if you wanted to you could you could pull it in another something that sounds better than one of these maybe like a if you're not a guitar player maybe you can put a guitar in there I haven't tried that let me see about adding something different So let's say that um, that when you do go from like a verse to a, something else, you don't have that in there. 
you hit your, your drum fill on your beat buddy. And then maybe you bring that in for a chorus with some heavy, some kind of different, kind of a, telling the story a little differently. And then you hit your, and then you go kind of into like, you're back into your verses again, where you're talking and talking and telling your story, telling your story. And then you hit your buddy. Then you go into your deep chorus, which you're really trying to say, make the hook, put the hook here. And, and then this different things. So your beat buddy can be your master driver. And then all these other ones are, are the, uh, they'll just follow right along with your beat buddy. Um, and it, to me, that's just, it's just awesome. So um, I think you can get real creative with this. And like I said, this is what you get with the beat buddy on the, this is just a uh, ballad three on their preset. And it sounds good, sounds really good. Um, I really like it, but just think if, if you wanted to spend a little bit of time kind of, you know, messing around, you can get um, just, you know, multiple things going on here. Anyway, thanks for um, uh, watching, and if you have any questions, you can just um, put it down on the bottom. Uh, uh, if, if for some reason you're getting stuck, maybe I can help you. Um, if you want to subscribe, please hit subscribe and ring the bell. If, when, if I uh, make a new video, you'll be the first one to see it. I really appreciate you watching this. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye.